Hi there, I'm Kevin Shaw, and you're watching Long Haul. How do you measure luxury? Well, for SeaDo, it's in inches and in pounds. For 2018, the new GTX Limited has been completely and totally redesigned. Starting with an all new ST3 platform, the new GTX starts with a brand new hull and a totally redesigned deck. The new ST3 hull takes a lot of its DNA from that of the RXPX and its T3 handling hull. But what they've done is that they've added in 1.2 inches to the width. That width is found especially on the sides in a very deep chine that sticks out and helps give a lot of that stability to this watercraft. It's also drastically improved the handling of the watercraft, whether it's in rough water, glass, or what have you. You can adjust the trim, you put that trim down, and suddenly you've got yourself a race craft. You bring it at a neutral trim, and it's a really nice, comfortable cruiser. Also unique to this new ST3 platform is the massive weight reduction. For the GTX, we're looking at a loss of about 78 pounds. Instrumental to the success of the new ST3 platform is the lower rider position. That center of gravity gets dropped with an inch and a half for the driver and up to three inches for the passengers. You'll also notice that the whole gauge cluster and the hood are also riding a lot lower, deeper in the ski. Another significant gain with the new ST3 platform is the size of that rear deck. SeaDo wanted to maximize the amount of functional, usable space on that swim platform. With this redesign, they've picked up a 33% gain up to 366 square inches of usable, functional deck space. Unique to the ST3 platform is the use of SeaDo's proprietary CM Tech technology that allows for SeaDo to apply some really rich colors to the paint job and to give a little bit better rigidity and longevity to their watercraft. For the nude swim platform, there's a lot of other interesting features applied to the back of this watercraft. First, you can see they incorporated a nice dock tie, a redesigned swim step that folds flat and has a nice flat padded surface. And of course, we're looking at the new redesigned third generation IBR. This new IBR reverse gate has ports both on, on the inside here and on the side that help redirect water. This allows for the watercraft, whether in stopping or in idling, to churn very smoothly, very naturally, and without altering any of the attitude of the watercraft. Another new addition to the limited platform is the fake teak style traction mat. It adds a really nice look to the watercraft and it really does function as a really good grippy surface. Obviously, the big addition to this watercraft is the addition of the modular link system. A lot of this technology came directly from ski and Can-Am. This technology allows for the application of a 4.4 gallon cooler, a 5.5 storage bag, or a four gallon gas can. The modular link system works the same way for all three accessories. Simply throw this tab open and it slides right out. And as you can see, these mounting points, you simply pinch and push right in. Now you have a nice flat surface that you can enjoy, you can sit on, you can open up your cooler and have lunch. Interestingly, on all ST3 platforms is this port which is used for the ski pylon, which is the ski pylon you'd find normally on a wake model. Now you can attach it to any one of these watercraft. Another addition for 2018 is the three-tiered two-piece seat that comes off with these two latches. This reveals the full platform and allows for single-seater riding. 
With the complete redesign of the 2018 GTX Limited, Cedar gave a lot of thought to the new ergonomics of the watercraft. In doing so, helped redesign a lot of the control pods that you see here on the handlebars. You still retain your VTS, your electric trim, your sport mode, eco mode, and your toggles to cycle through the LCD screen. Also included is the same all-inclusive tilt steering that, in that includes the gauge cluster. Included in this new redesign is a completely new glove box. In this glove box, you'll find a watertight case specifically designed for cell phones. They've even included some shock absorbent pads. Your cell phone fits in, and as you can see, there's even a USB port for charging your phone, because who doesn't take their phone out with them when they're on the water? So why is it so important to bring your phone? It's so you can operate the new BRP Premium Audio System. This is the only watercraft onboard sound system operated through Bluetooth technology. You simply log into your phone through your connectivity through Bluetooth and you can upload all your music and play it all through here. Sea-Doo even includes this nice touchpad so that you can toggle through your songs and increase your volume or even pause your music while you go. You notice the glove box is pretty small compared to last year's model, but there's a good reason for that. You close this down, hit these two latches, and suddenly you've got the biggest glove box in the industry. What you see here is Sea-Doo's new direct access front storage compartment. It totals at 27 gallons, but it's the entirety of all the storage on this watercraft. Here in front of you, you see a nice cargo net with a separator. You can put drinks in there, a hat, shirt, sunscreen, everything you need. And because it's so stinking big, you can even stick a full gear bag in here. The final change to the ST3 platform is the relocation of the filler neck. We're a little sad to see the muscle car styled slap cap disappear from the fender of the watercraft, but this makes a lot more sense. Obviously, it makes filling up at a dock a lot more easy. You just sit down, you fill it up right there. They also wisely put in a splash guard and some nice vents just in case you happen to spill a little bit over. It'll run right into the foot wells. I'm Kevin Shaw and you've been watching Long Haul. Make sure to check us out at the Watercraft Journal at www.watercraftjournal.com.